essentially whether I heard what was going on or I haven't heard what is going on. Mr. Speaker, in all of this, some of us have been very quiet when this whole issue came up and the debate, particularly the day when you, you caught everybody by surprise and you said whoever wants to speak against them should rise up in their space. Not a single soul was able to rise up in their space. And it all shows that how delicate, how complicated this matter is. But Mr. Speaker, no matter how delicate or complicated, I think we must also be careful we don't offend against the tenets of the Constitution. Everybody accepts that ultimately the supreme law of the country, Mr. Speaker, is the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, the promoters originally came up with what we have. And uh, Mr. Speaker, I think it's also public knowledge that uh, you have uh, put your full weight behind getting this uh, this this bill uh, this bill passed. Speaker, but I, I, I'm not I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure the issue should be so co co controversial because I suspect that my colleagues understand the importance of this document. They have come up with this amendment, Mr. Speaker, that the 10 and the 11 should all be read in conjunction with the Constitution. So they're saying that subject to the Constitution. I don't have any difficulty with that at all, because uh, if it is uh, the supreme law, then uh, any subsidiary uh, legislation um, should uh, uh, conform with that. Now, what I don't understand is why there is so much cacophony about the suggestion made by the majority, majority leader. Majority leader is saying that if it is accepted that the 10 and the 11 should be read subject to the constitution, what is the difficulty in subjecting the 12 to the edits of the constitution? I, 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 I have a difficulty comprehending what they are talking about. Look up, it should be there. The 12 should be uh, the subject to the constitution if anybody wants to contribute and whatever, whatever, that is fine. Why do you want to isolate that and make that a criminal offense when you are subjecting the rest of Mr. Speaker to the provisions of this country? It shouldn't be difficult. Let's accept that if it is the subject to, subject to, nobody has committed any atrocity, let's accept it. Mr. Speaker, so you know I was listening and I, I know what I'm going to say. Yeah. That's why you're always my friend, you know. You, you trust me. You know I always know what I'm going to say. Thank you. Honorable members, I put the question. Thank you.